Gold prices slipped but silver rose on Friday, snapping the precious metal's more typical connection for both the day and the week as global stock markets pulled back from their latest all-time highs, but industrial commodities gained ahead of next week's interest rate decision and dot plot forecasts from US central bank the Federal Reserve. Gold bullion slipped 0.5% for the week from last Friday's 3 p.m. London fix, trading at $2,161 per troy ounce and heading for its first weekly drop in five after snapping a six-day run of new all-time gold records on Tuesday. The silver price, in contrast, added more than 25 cents at today's 12 noon benchmarking from Thursday's level, adding another 3.0% to last week's 7.8% jump and hitting the highest since early December at $25.44 per troy ounce in spot market trading. Day to day, silver and gold prices have moved in the same direction almost 76% of the time since the start of 2019, a pattern matched by their week-to-week -week movements too. I personally think we're going to need a bit of recovery in China for silver to keep pushing higher, says strategist John Reed, formerly at UBS and Paulson and & Company and now at the Mining Industries World Gold Council. Its industrial demand for silver is so important that if the economy there is lagging, that might tend not to make continued price gains happen. Silver in Shanghai today fixed at 6,322 yuan per gram, the highest yuan price for the more industrially useful precious metal when delivered in China, the world's number one manufacturing and exporting economy since August 2020. Surging to record highs in 2022, India's demand for silver meantime appears to have been rallying from last year's retreat, says Reid. If that's the case, watch for Western warehouse inventories heading lower again for silver and for things to get interesting. Reaching over 8,800 tonnes in 2022, more than one quarter of global silver mining output. India's silver bullion imports fell to 3,625 tonnes last year. Already this year, says the Reuters news agency today, traders have imported 827 tonnes of silver into India via the new IIBIX platform, a government-approved exchange where duty on silver bullion coming through a trade deal with the United Arab Emirates runs to only 9% against the standard 15% duty on silver imports to India, shipped from elsewhere. With silver prices surging over the past two weeks, that inflow means India's banks have now stopped silver imports, Reuters says. As for gold's big jump to that six-day run of new record highs ending at the start of this week, this is one of the few rallies we've seen that hasn't been accompanied by a significant risk event or a new catalyst, says Global Bank and London bullion market maker Standard Chartered's precious metals analyst Suki Cooper. So this is different from the previous peaks we've seen. Peaking at $2,195 in spot trade this time last week, the gold price today held on track for a small weekly rise in terms of the UK pound and the euro, trading at £1,698 and €1,986 per troy ounce respectively around Friday's 3pm London benchmarking auction. The S&P 500 index of U.S. corporate equities meantime fell to 5,125 in early New York trade today, down 50 points from Tuesday's new record close. The Nasdaq 100 index of U.S. listed tech stocks fell 2.4% below its record close of two weeks ago, and so-called cryptocurrency Bitcoin lost 7.3% from yesterday morning's new record, high above $73,600. Base metal copper, in contrast, sometimes called the metal with a PhD in economics because of its importance to industry and construction, held at 11-month highs after jumping this week's news of lower Chinese copper smelting capacity. Crude oil also pushed up further, nearing five-month highs on forecasts of stronger demand meeting tighter supply. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.